Hey guys, Frozen Gamer here. So I've had a few requests about how to sign up for, uh, or how to use the Switch Pro Controller properly on Steam. Um, one thing that I failed to think about uh, with some of the responses I've given you guys is um, you have to actually sign up for a beta in order to be able to use this. It's, it's entirely free and I can't guarantee that everyone's going to have the option. So just keep that in mind. It's possible that um, because it's kind of a limited participation thing that, that you may or may not actually have access to it. But let me show you how to do it if you uh, do in fact, I mean, if you haven't already signed up for the beta, and that may very well solve all of your problems right there. But if it does, but either way, I'm gonna show you that first and then I'll show you the settings that I have in Portal 2 um, specifically for my controller in order to get all the functionality including uh, the rumble and gyro aiming. So first of all, um, in Steam, you go to settings and then under the account tab, you go, you, if you go down about halfway down, you see beta participation and the Steam beta update is what I have set here. So that's what, that's what you want to choose. That's the only one um, right now, at least for me, that shows up, and that is the one that you want. So once you have actually done that, you go ahead and hit OK, and then you'll want to make sure you exit Steam. And then after you've exited Steam, go ahead and start it back up. Okay, so now once you've gotten it started back up, uh, you should just be able to go into the game and start playing. Um, but let me go ahead and bring up Portal 2. Okay, now controller configuration. Let me show you guys what I have for my setup here. So, um, we want the, uh, I guess the FPS controls is what we want to choose. All right, so here we go. So let me show you something. All right, so first of all, you have to make sure that you have the gyro sensor set um, to camera. Um, I believe that's correct. It's been a while since I've messed with this. So, I mean, it should still be my same settings from before. Uh, but yeah, you want you want it set. Yeah, set set to camera. Um, you can adjust the sensitivity as much as you want. Obviously, I have it set uh, to low sensitivity because oh, you don't have to move it quite as much. Um, or no, it may, anyway, point is is that I have it set to low sensitivity. I can't remember if that actually makes it so that it's more sensitive or less sensitive. I guess that makes it less sensitive because it was a little bit too sensitive before. Um, but there's that and then everything else is pretty much exactly the same um, as the default settings um, so you won't really have to do much of anything with it um, oh, there we go okay so there was some kind of weird thing in the settings or I mean, I mean for some reason when I plugged it in initially, the gyro wasn't working, but the gyro is working now. So, it's awfully sensitive, it feels to me, but.
Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, so now let's see what I need to do. I just gotta remember how to get up there. That should work better. Uh, I know it's something really obvious. It's just been a long time since I've done this. I was just forgetting how to do it. It's actually a lot simpler than I was thinking. Okay. Now. Block. It's launched. Launched again. And then. Try this again. Do do do.
Oh, that's right. If you think trapping yourself is going to make me stop testing, you're sorely mistaken. Here's another cube. Sometimes it's a matter of not overthinking things. Yeah. And remembering where the buttons are. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me just show you guys that configuration one more time. And one of the key things to remember is if the gyro is not working, just unplug the switch controller and plug it back in. And it does need to be wired. Um, at least from what I've been able to gather so far, anytime I've tried to do it wireless, it just hasn't worked. So uh, make sure to wire it. And then on your FPS controls, you want to make sure that you have the gyro set to camera. You can adjust the sensitivity as you need, um, and that should help you a lot with, with getting that all sorted out. But, um, yeah, it has, that's pretty much it. So hopefully that helps you guys out, and hopefully you can um, get it working for you. So until next time, this has been the Frozen Gamer, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.